This is a demo of the UVEX UV fluorescence microscope. The UVEX comes in at least two flavors, a motorized or a manual version. Here is the motorized version with a motorized XY stage. And there are two objectives, nominally a 5X and a 15X. And the selection is made by rotating the objective turret. The motorized version comes with a joystick which allows the user to quickly move to a desired location and of course a well can be chosen from the software as well. Here is the live video as the joystick is operated. The user interface is fairly straightforward. There are two large panels that display the bright field and the UV fluorescence images respectively. Here the two images are as they come out of the camera. There's no processing. Uh, only thing is uh, the contrast is arbitrary and the user is, uh, can adjust the contrast to make uh, certain features pop out. What is shown on the right side is the plate configuration, which in, which in this case is an MRC 96 well 2 drop plate. One of the features that the UI has is the ability to compare the two images side by side. There is no register shift there exactly. It's a one to one correspondence between the two images. Here's what we get with the 15x objective. There are features that are 4 to 5 microns visible in the UV image. The images can be saved individually or in pairs or in the case of a complete plate scan they are saved automatically in a desired location. The UI also allows the user to vary the exposure times, set the illumination pattern, dark field, bright field or a combination thereof and it also allows the user to measure the lengths of of features that uh, are, are of interest. In the plate scan mode, the images are presented side by side as the scanning occurs and they are also saved automatically uh, into a database if uh, that option is chosen. The Scanning can be stopped at any time by clicking on the red bar. There's a progress window on the, so on the right side also. Here's the manual version. The difference from the motorized version is just the fact that this has a manual stage and it's missing the controller box for this stage. It's the same in every other respect. The UI for the manual version is also very much like the one for the motorized version except for the fact that the plate configuration is missing. The operation is very much similar. The functionalities are the same in the two versions and the switching from the upgrading from the manual to the motorized version is pretty straightforward. All it requires is switching to the motorized stage and upgrading the software. So that is the end of the demo.